If you use WhatsApp or WhatsApp web extensively, this video is going to make your life a lot easier. We are going to talk about how you can set up auto replies on WhatsApp, perform Wikipedia search or word definition search on WhatsApp, hide image previews on WhatsApp web and change the bubble size or even the notification style on WhatsApp web. So firstly, talking about how you can set up automatic replies on WhatsApp, you will need an app called What's Auto. Then within What's Auto, you can set up a standard reply that goes to each and every person as long as your WhatsApp is not open. So it's configured to all contacts, but you can set it to specific contacts only by adding them into your contact list or you could make them as exceptions. Then there are pre-configured messages that are there that you could choose from and it could go as an auto reply or you could set up your own custom message. You can also set up specific replies for specific messages. So right now for hi, I have this, but you could go ahead and add, you know, if an incoming message is this, you could have your own custom reply to that. And to make things even easier, What's Auto can enable itself or turn it off at specified times. So you, whatever timings you prefer, just put them in over here. And it will also detect when you're driving and enable itself automatically on if you want that. And guys, before moving to the second one, it will be really great if you could just hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video from me ever. Secondly, you can use WhatsApp to get Wikipedia results or word definitions without really going anywhere. And it's actually pretty convenient. Just type wiki followed by the term that you want Wikipedia results on and then press go. And it's just going to give you a quick Wikipedia result of the term that you searched for. It would also additionally give you more options. It's powered by Duta or something it, and Bing. So it's just additional to your Wikipedia search. So there are some, you know, news related stuff and you could just respond by, you know, sending the number. So one, two, three or four, you reply and it will give you more stuff. And to look up a word from a definition point of view, just type D-I-C-T, which is short for dictionary and then type the word and hit send. And it'll give you the, the definition of that particular word and it is pretty easy to set up uh, just create a contact in your contact list called wikibot and that's the phone number if you're in india if you're anywhere else i'm going to leave the phone number down in the description below so just add that as a contact and then go into whatsapp and create a group with this contact which is wikibot that's it you're all set after that Okay, now coming to the third one. If you use WhatsApp web, then you know that it's quite irritating when you get a picture from a friend and it shows up right in front of your uh, screen on the desktop for others to see as well. Can get a little embarrassing. There is a way around that. Go to Google and search for Hide Media Chrome Extension. Of course, I'm assuming you're using Chrome. If you're using Safari or Firefox, it's not going to work. Then look at the first result that you get and click on Hide Media and add that as an extension to your Chrome. Now, I already have it installed, so it's not giving me an option, but anyway. Once you do that, go into settings, click on the menu on the top left corner, go to extensions and make sure it's turned on. So you get hide media, turn it on, and just restart your browser once. Now, go back or just restart your tab for WhatsApp. And now what you'd see is, so let me go back to the conversation. I have to hover on that image for it to reveal itself. And I think this is pretty fantastic that, you know, it works. The last one is also related to WhatsApp web. A lot of conversations that you have, you know, they have a lot of text, but the bubble sizes are sort of limited, right? And it makes it a little difficult for you to read. Now, I have an extension for that, which I've already installed. It's called WA Toolkit. So you could Google it and you can install it the same way you did for Hide Media. But what that does is, let me just go back and refresh. You are able to expand the width, okay, of these text boxes. I haven't activated that yet. So if you hit on that T option that you will get after you install, you get these two options. Click on wide text bubbles. And that's exactly what happens. It just gets wider. Also, you will get notifications if you get new messages, even when your Chrome is switched off. So that way you never miss any message while on your computer and your phone is not around. Anyway, so I really hope all of this was super useful for you. I know they're really useful for me because I use WhatsApp web a lot. If you enjoyed this, do leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon.